So let's talk about the elephant in the room, the big YouTube play button. I had to go to the store and pick up some supplies. made some changes to my studio. In the last vlog, I realized that there wasn't much character to my studio. I've been focused on making so much music and just really engulfed in that. In my last vlog, I realized that there wasn't much personality to the room. In seeing that, I changed some things around. Everything is a mess. My studio is a mess. Made some cool upgrades. Um, just to spruce it up. So, like for instance, my shelving. It used to be on the other wall over there, but now I placed it over here. And I put the LED lighting around it. It looks really sick. Got my cool Star Wars poster that my nephews got me. As you can tell, this is episode four, five, and six, the original. The elephant in the room. Look what I did. I got a little red wall right behind my vocal booth which is no longer my vocal booth. I don't have artists come over here and record anymore. Um, if they wanted to, I, I still can use it, but I'm not using it for those purposes because I sort of don't. As of right now, this is what my studio is looking like. So this right here is my old vocal booth. Okay, so this isn't my closet, but this is where I keep my jackets and obviously my wetsuits. Um, my other wetsuit is drying right now. I should start wearing this too. Why not? This is the stuff that I don't ever use. I live in Florida, so jackets, like, no. Like, you really don't need a jacket. A sweater, yeah. Um, there might be some nights that you could wear a jacket, but... So this is like my overflow of closet space that I don't use. Turned off the light. I just wanted to add a little bit more personality. Over here, I have stuff for my boosted board and my boosted board. And this stuff here is for my GoPro and my cannons. I'm, there's my big logger, my bad boy, 70D. So overall, that's what I've been up to. Just making this room a little bit more personal, a little bit more special. A little bit more chill it'll be mine so i hope you like it i still got a lot of work to do <laughs> I was going to use hanging wall mounts for my boosted boards, 
but first off it would cost me about eighty dollars to do that this here only costed me about three bucks each it stays off the wall it won't mess up the paint and it's like a nice little bumper so it's not even touching the wall so let's talk about the elephant in the room which is the big YouTube play button I'm dedicated to becoming a youtuber uh, right now I just feel like a wannabe youtuber this here is an ode to the godfather of logging and this is an inspiration this is going to remind me day in and day out every time I'm in this studio to make more content not only that work harder help me focus on where I'm trying to go and with YouTube it is absolutely possible if you are somebody out there that is looking to get into vlogging or just start up a channel I'm sure you have a channel that you just haven't posted anything you haven't put anything out there I'm telling you in the very beginning it's really weird it's very uncomfortable talking to a camera especially when you're out in public but just like anything it's practice and you become more comfortable as you go now I'm gonna tell you you don't have to upload everything that you record there's plenty of footage that I have recorded that I have never put on YouTube especially in the very beginning of me trying to vlog it was very difficult for me to start uploading content onto YouTube because of criticism you're always going to have people which I call armchair warriors people who are going to voice their opinion that's fine I believe in the freedom of speech say what you want comment but I also believe that I have the right to not have you on my channel so negative comments or very mean people you don't need that in your life you really don't you don't want to have to deal with somebody that's constantly nagging or constantly just being a block them just block them there's millions and millions and millions and millions of people on YouTube if you block one or two people, that is not going to affect your numbers whatsoever. So all I'm going to say is go for it. Do it. Try it. Start vlogging. If you have a phone, start using your phone. If you have a GoPro, anything that you can record on, just do it and just get comfortable with it. Doesn't mean that you have to post. It's just starting, getting started. That's what I did. As you can see, my progression, it's constant. You can watch my very first vlog and you can see from my most previous vlogs and how I have evolved in editing and angles and trying new things, getting more comfortable and finding my, my groove. And that will happen with you too. But if you don't do anything, it's not going to happen. So to everybody out there that has been thinking about starting a vlog or starting a YouTube channel, do it. Oh, YouTube is oversaturated. Oh my God, it is. But you know what? I watch Gary Vee from time to time. I'm not like an addict or like, you know, a frequent watcher, but I do watch him from time to time if there's something that catches my interest. He was saying that you don't need millions of subscribers. You might just need two or three people who believe in what you're doing and it can grow from there. One thing that I will tell you is don't look to your family to support you. If your family supports you, that's great that's good news you're probably part of the five percent there's so many people out there who has family who has friends who aren't subscribed to your channel just think that it's silly to do this type of thing but in your heart if you know this is something that you want to do and you know that that's a dream of yours or that's something that you really want to do do it just because your family your friends people that you're close to say you can't do it they're just projecting onto you what they feel about themselves it has nothing to do with you i'm just saying don't ever look for the approval of other people to get started or to do what you want to do because if you are searching for approval you could get it but you know you're not guaranteed that when they start actually seeing success and you actually doing it that's when they'll come around my experience is don't ever 
look for your family and your close friends to really support you. They might, I'm not, don't say that it's like, they're not gonna support me. You, there might be people out there that are already like, oh, you know, like my best friends, like they support me. They want me to go along with it. That's great. You got good friends. You got good people around you. If this is something that you wanna do, find, in, find your inspiration. Find that person or that thing, that dream, what do you want? What do you want to do? You know, is there a vlogger out there? Is there a tech review guy out there? Is there a cooking guru or, you know, a motivational speaker that you really enjoy? You feel that like you can bring something to the table? Do it. You might be the voice that somebody else will be inspired by and get that ball rolling for that person. But they'll never hear it if it doesn't come from you. This here is a symbol of that inspiration. That symbol of work harder. Do it. This is symbolic. And that's why I did it. This is something that inspires me. So find what works for you. So that's all that I'm going to say about this right here. I'm very proud of it. I think I did a really good job. 